with the uh, agreement of both players. There we go. Got a rage from both. So let's get started with the game number one. What will end up happening? Who knows? And three, two, one. Tetris. And I'm watching Tetris once again with the 3 to one bits saying good luck, have fun. Actually, both players are already with a uh, still with a perfect start, but Doge now having to take his first couple of burns here, and looks like they're going to be some significant burns because not getting some great pieces for his stacking. Two Lombard dependencies, three if you're counting the one in the very bottom. Now a lot of uh, holes in his stack. As Sodium is still chilling here with a perfect start, thirty Tetris there for Doge. Still with two Lombard dependencies though. We're just going to try and play it safe. Ooh, missed drop that T piece. So it will cost even more burning. Sodium with a couple of holes in a stack as well, but they look like they're a bit more manageable than Doge. Not like Doge's uh, situation is anything deadly or anything, but it is going to cost significant, uh, more significant burning than on sodium's end sodium's already clean so stoge kind of could set up a dirty and he will be dirty tetris ready but not that lombard's not showing up and he is just committing to it and he's gonna top out with a 111 vagrant thank you for the follow he just told you to shut up in three two one tetris You know, both players stacking the exact same right now. Let's see how long that lasts. Never mind, that didn't last long, so I decided to go for a tuck. Anyway, for those of you just tuning in, if you would like to help contribute to the prize pool, for our Division 1 players, aka the ones that are playing right now. Wow! You can do so with Macherino. Any contribution is greatly appreciated. Currently at $510. Yeah. Doge now, with a better start than before, scores a Tetris 116, has a slight lead at the beginning. But Sodium with the fewer burns will score a Tetris as well and take back the lead. It may have not been a sick burn, but he's got the right energy. Doge, once again, having to burn a bit here. Let's see what he's going to do. If he's going to try to burn or commit to dirty Tetris's. It looks like he's just going to burn down this time. Sodium has the 39,000 point lead in these first 40 lines. And a Tetris there for Doge. Ooh, Sodium with the L piece misdrop. 
Hanging that piece. Looks like he was unable to spin it in time. <clears throat> so I'm going for a couple late burns here. I don't know if they're really... If the pieces are going well in his favor, but like... He could set up a dirty if he wants to, but it's just going to be a double and another double. And with that Lombard Pensy solve, he will be clean for a traditional right side Tetris setup. And he will be getting that Tetris at 295. So Doge has overtaken the lead slightly. Uh, definitely with pace. 75% Tetris rate for Doge. 67% Tetris rate for Sodium. And once again with the Lombard Pensy, could get a triple if you were to get the Lombard in time, but we'll just decide to go for the sequence of burns here. A couple of doubles and singles to bring this down. Trying to avoid the Lombard Pensy on Calm. Six, X7. That's up another Lombard Pensy though, higher up on the board. Get the Lombard in time though, so it won't be that much of a problem. It is going to cost more burning though. He does take a triple. 330 for Sodium. 382 for Doge. Right now, Doge still with the lead. Takes a Tetris 451. And everyone in chat right now just talking about how sunny Sunny is. Doge can't get a 600k transition with this efficiency. 496 at 105 lines. 425 for Sodium. Can get a mid 500k transition. So Doge definitely with the advantage still. Sodium has to burn. Doge was getting a bit of... Uh... Problematic with parity here, but did get the right combination of pieces to even out his board just in time to score more Tetris 588 120 lines can set up three more Tetris with a perfect Ending to the 18 speeds and that could even be enough for I believe a 650 With those with uh, two more Tetris, but it looks like he's might burn Looks like he will take a triple into the transition at 618. Sodium can set up one more Tetris, but just like those, he's going to be burning into the 19 speeds. 584. So Sodium with a definitive 112,000 point de deficit. Doge with that nice 600k transition. Scores a Tetris 646. Who just pinged me? How dare you do this to me? Tetris there for Sodium's 537, 672 for Doge. So we'll see if pace will end up mattering in the end. Doge maintaining this significant lead. Sodium scoring a Tetris, trying to avoid the burns. Doesn't want to put the Lombard to the right side because that would just put him out of contention for another tetris but doge is a uh, burning right now not a very timely lombar there for doge taurus saying good morning and yeah, good morning to you Do uh taurus hope you're doing well but what's not looking too well is doge's board losing a bit of that lead if this carries over hangs that j piece Gets that lumbar all the way to the left side. Goes for the flat. Goes for the late, uh, the late burn, I mean. Doesn't really work out in his favor. So it's going to cost more burning. And Doge looking to burn this down now. In a lot of trouble. If he gets the wrong pieces, this could be it. And this will give Sodium the opportunity to catch back up with a chase down. But Doge is still alive. Still kicking. Going for the flat lumbar burn. Puts that JP L piece all the way to the left side. Will love a square piece, but doesn't get that square piece in time. So it's just going to have to use a combination of burns. To bring this down as much as possible. Now only has a 120, 30,000 point lead. Which is still significant. But 
earlier he almost had a 200,000 point lead so sodium is doing a great job at capitalizing as much as he can sodium doge is almost out of it though and he will be tetris ready open on the right side where's that llama for doge and scores of tetris on doge's end 802 And Doge will score another Tetris 835. Solves that L dependency. And a Tetris for Doge 871 still has a lead by 132,000 points. So this might come down to kill screen play for Sodium if he wants to take this game. Nice little burn there. Adjustment there from Doge. Would love a J piece. Gets a J piece, but now has a couple of holes in his stack. Once again, a couple of delayed burn setups. But Sodium not in any position in Tetris still. Opens up the right well. Now he's Tetris ready. And a Tetris there for Sodium. 811 Doge with another Tetris. And 914 can get the max out into 29 with three more Tetrises available. Getting a bit shrouded, so might just go for the burns. Very smartly so for Doge. Scores the Tetris 951. Sodium at 846. So Sodium is within striking distance, honestly. But as I say that, he hangs that S piece. The Z piece, actually. No, it wasn't. It was an ass piece. And he will try to burn this down. 892 for Sodium. 992 for Doge. We'll get the max up with the next burn. But Sodium's still alive. Both players are level 30. Sodium not with a clean board right now. And he's misdropping a bunch. Doge is going to top out. And Sodium will also top out at 903. So Doge will tie up the set. 1-1. One one. Let's start the countdown. In five, four, three, two, one. Tetris. A square and a T. Just making sure that the same P sets. Dan V saying, never you blame everyone else except you. And that Kingsman saying, blame Vinky. Air pointer. <laughs> Dude, imagine having CTM emotes, being subscribed to CTM. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, Vinky is dead. Now you're just Weller. We just love the rebrandings, you know? From Beast and Shen to World Puzzle League. From uh, Sharky, I guess you just gauntlet. <laughs> From Dan Vinky to Dan V Weller. You know? You'll love to see it. But Doge scores a Tetris 818. Yeah, but what's your point? <laughs> My point still stands. Beast and Shen had World Puzzle League since like 2020. <laughs> I just love the rebranding. It's the first time I've commented on it. Both players are pretty high board there. Sodium had a Lombar on column 8. I don't know if he meant to do it. He probably meant to do that. But that looks pretty dicey. Pretty easy to hang something over. It was only just the 18 speeds though, so it should be okay. So yeah, for those of you just tuning in, Doge is still trying to maintain his perfect run and up his chances a little bit of making that uh, top spot into the playoffs. Winning his division if he can finish off the set strong but after this set on Sunday he'll be going up against Alex T his main opponent for division 1b the really the only person who can overtake him at this point and I of course will be commenting over that as well because I decided to take everything last season the last week of the season
And uh, Doge, both players suffering a bit of a drought there. Doge takes a double to open up his right well. Nice little skim there. Avoiding the triples as much as possible because the less burns the better. And Doge has an 80% Tetris rate versus Sodium 60%. Doge waiting for that long bar for the Tetris, going very aggressive for it, and a Tetris there for Doge. 370 at 81 lines, so once again, potential for a 600, 600k transition for that nice back-to-back -back 600k transition if Doge continues with his efficiency. I mentioned this before, but typically the benchmark that you want in a comp setting to get safe 600k transitions is to have a 400k by 80 lines. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't get 600k even if you don't have 400k by 80 lines, but, you know, that gives you room to burn if you ever get into a situation. It is uh, a nice little bit of a cushion there. But, Doge within striking distance of that 600. Who is a Dan Vinky, Pumpy Heart? All we know is Dan V. Weller. Sodium would love a couple of good pieces here to burn this down. Solves that. A Lombard dependency. But I'm trying to go for the dirty Tetris, but didn't really feel comfortable putting that Lombard in a aggressive stack. So just decided to go for the burns last second. Doge with a J dependency solves that J dependency. Sodium looks like that was a double tuck with a J piece. Scores a Tetris can get at most a 490 into the transition. Doge with the back to back 600k transitions. Welcome on in, Kafka's cat. Saying, oi! It's the bloody lo bloke. I don't know how to speak for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Type is for Doge. 668. Has a uh, bit of a dependency here. Opens up that hole in the stack. Six thir seventy-three for Doge. Missed drop that T piece. So we'll cause some burning. Not really too problematic. It's almost out of it. Had to close down as well again because you know wasn't getting right pieces for a more cleaner burn sequence here. But he is clean once again and Tetris ready. We'll get that seven hundred K after that Tetris at twenty-one. Doge one hundred thousand points behind. I mean sodium one hundred thousand points behind. Doge still rocking that 73% Tetris rate. While Sodium is teetering between the 60% and lower. But scores a Tetris 664. Doge trying to maintain this 120,000 point lead. And it looks like he's doing such just that because Sodium is burning now. Definitely not what you want to do when you're already behind by 150,000 points. But he's just been forced into it. Tetris for Doge, 851 at 24. Oh, and Ray B3RT, Ray Burt, I guess. Thank you for the follow. That was five minutes ago, but I'm not really good at checking. Yeah, hope you're doing well. And thank you so much for the follow. 975 for Doge, 797 for Sodium. Eat. Doge with the max out at 26. Sodium can get the max out at 28 with this efficiency, but that's not enough right now because Doge is just tearing through this 19. And through this game, can get the 1.2 into 29 with this efficiency. It is very much possible. And knowing his kill screen play, 1.2 is basically evident. I 
Has to do a couple of burns though, but is clean. And we'll take a safety triple. Not wanting to have a crappy stack here into the 29. We'll transition with a 1.1. Sodium looking for the max out into 29. Well, Doge is continuing on the 29 speeds. And Sodium will get that max out. Doge scores a Tetris now 1.18. Sodium over 160,000 points behind. Keep in mind, unlike the lower divisions, we do have a line cap. So, Sodium cannot just line this out. You will need to do this before 39. Assuming Doge tops out soon. And Doge with that dig! Incredible dig there from Doge. Has a 1.2. Burning this down almost completely out of it. And he's basically back down to the bottom. Sodium still alive, but Mist drops a bunch of pieces. And will top out with 1.08. So great score there from Sodium, but just not enough. Doge with 1.2 will take game number three. And will be at match point for the fourth game. And K9 watching Tetris with a thousand bits saying Digmeister Dog. Doge. <laughs> Asterix. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started with game number four. Can Sodium force the decider or can Doge seal the deal in the set in three, two, one, Tetris? <laughs> Much like Zinky and Wallbat are the same. That is actually true. Damn, he didn't want to... Oh god, wait, hold on. Let me shut up for a second, because Doge, in a bit of a situation, is uh, not looking too good. It's building up that left. Gets that dirty set left while Tetris, 26,000 points. Welcome to Max Out City. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. I haven't, I haven't seen this Harry stream in so long. 79,000 points for Doge. Maybe 3,000 for Sodium. So with the J dependency solves that J dependency will be Tetris ready and scores that Tetris 853. Not, if I'm not mistaken, is this the final uh, week of the regular season? Like, are we just going to playoffs after this week? Looks like K9 might have just gifted Kingsman a CTM subscription, maybe, perhaps. Okay, I'm right. Cool. So this is indeed the final se uh, week of the regular season. Let's go. Can't wait to post that on YouTube. Get so many views. Content. So much content. So I'm in a bit, a bit of a situation here. Oh, it is—it's your emote. Why would you? I can't believe you would steal CTM's emotes, K9. 
can't believe it. No, I'm kidding. Okay, never mind. Then it was just a Dan V subscription. Who cares then? <laughs> uh, do you watch the matches when editing? Uh, sometimes. Not really. I just skim through them. Like, I think the only time I would watch a match is if uh, uh, the commentator, which for the most part is me when this happens, is sounding a little bit too loud <laughs> or too low. So I try to adjust it in post-editing. I will watch on YouTube if we're watching while editing. Yeah, that's fair. Like, look, man, I love restreaming, but after I watch it in the stream, I kind of don't feel like watching it again. <laughs> in editing, I already feel like I get the gist of it. Players can play 18, sometimes top out on 19. Every every so often we get kill screen play. GG's 518 uh 511 for sodium 565 for doge might get a back three back 600k transition shout outs to that consistent pace just needs one more touches really and we'll get that final touches for the back three back 600k transitions can still get one more Tetris before the 19 speeds, and we'll get that final Tetris. 635 for Doge, 682 for Sodium. Both players into 19 speeds, which starts off with a double here. And a Tetris there for Doge. Sodium starting off with a bit of problems. Let's see if he goes dirty or if he's going to burn this down. He's going to go dirty. Can he get that Lombard time? Dirty center, uh, right side touch for Sodium. Doge hung that T piece by the looks of it. Or maybe it was in kind of the late burn setup. Like an adjustment. I don't know. But Sodium kind of with the same exact thing, but with a Lombar. It's double Lombard, uh, double Lombard dependent. It's a square. Magic choosing your wedding, uh, choosing wedding over Mecha Man. Sodium doesn't flip that S piece. It is going to cost some burns. Going for the safety triples this time and around. And actually, Sodium has brought the deficit down to 48,000 points. As I say that, so Doge does take a Tetris, bringing that deficit up to uh, almost 100,000 points, actually. Yeah, so Sodium needs to try his best to... Get the gas on this efficiency if he wants to force his decider. He is on the ropes. Doge looking to close in on this perfect streak. But is in a bit of problems here. Does need to do a bit of burning, which could give Sodium the opportunity to chase back the lead. Tetrister for Sodium. 727 versus Doge's 851. Sodium creating a gap in that uh, column 3. Richard Wolf with a party of three. Welcome on in. Do uh, Sodium sets up a dirty Tetris. Can he get the Lombard in time? Closes down as well right before the Lombard comes. But a dirty Tetris for there, there for Sodium. And uh, not looking too good here for Sodium right now. But makes some great placements here. Looking to commit. This oh, double flips that T-piece. And now Doge has taken an almost 200,000 point lead with that next Tetris. It'll be up to 200,000 points. So Sodium needs to just bring this down as quickly as possible and just hope for better 29 play than Doge at this point. Doge already with a max out. Sodium with a J dependency. Solves that J dependency, but still with level Lombar here. 
or just something to uh, clean up the stack, kind of open it up. He's open on the right side. Tetris there for Sodium can score two more Tetrises and get a 900k into the kill screen. But Doge, already with 1.1, can get a back to back 1.2. And Sodium overshifts that T-piece. And this is looking very problematic for Do uh, Sodium. Misdrops that square. This could do it. This could do it. Gets that T-piece all the way to the left side. Scores a double. Is almost out of it, but hangs that square. Gets that T-spin. And he is almost out of it. When you think it's over, he has basically brought down his board, but kind of hangs that long bar. He's that J piece, and that is gonna do it. Sodium with a 900,000 will lose, and Doge with a back to back 1.2 will take the set and maintain his perfect run. And now it's up to Alex to see if uh, he can take Doge on and make him lose that perfect streak on Sunday. GG's. That'll do it. Sodium choked his phone. Uh. And all games. And disconnect the players. Because last match for tonight will be Blue Scooty versus Sofa. I will close down, uh, close off our uh, event. So, Scoo uh, Scooty and Sofa, if you guys are watching this, start setting up because you guys are up. No cutouts, let's go. Oh, I could have just done that. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. But yeah, let's take a look at Division 1B standings. Let me refresh, actually. Hold on. We refresh, we refresh. There we go. Doge, 30 points, is at the top of the division. Alex T with 28 points. So it is going to be a pretty close end to the season for this division. Keep in mind, we do have a wild card playoffs this season, so it's going to be the top six will have a shot at the playoffs or the prize pool, not the top four, which uh, I don't know if Huff has a chance that uh, chance at making it to the wild card, but if he does, there you go. Oh, K9, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. Let me just quickly try and set this up and we'll be good to go. We 
You already got the ninja from Scooty. Look at that. Just, uh, just like a couple of days ago, he didn't know how to use ninja. Now he's a pro. He's a pro professional. Waiting on Sofa. Okay, so Huff needs Andy to lose to both, uh, presumably, who the hell is in Division 1A? Dog and Gerald. Oh, well, you. Uh, for Huff to have a shot at the wild card spot. Okay, Sofa's here. Sofa, if you're here and you have your ninja, just DM it, DM it to me if you haven't sent it already on CTL. While we're waiting, though, we can take another look at the Division 1A standings, I guess, since we're talking about wild card spots and and the uh, playoffs and all that junk. Let's see here. Let's see. There you go. Here's what our 1A is looking like. Dog and Gerald both with perfect runs so far. The exact same game records. The exact same game differences. No penalty points. And of course the exact same amount of points. Andy with 3-1 match record. 20 points. And the rest. Who cares? <laughs> Oh, with 21 points, Somalian 13 points, Wallbant 10, Jerpadude will be in the relegation playoffs at 10 points. Uh, no, uh, so if, uh, you sent me the link to Ninja. But not your specific ninja cam. Hold on, let me see if I can. You should get a... After you click start, you should get a uh, URL at the very top. Where it says copy this URL to an OBS browser source. And send me that, and that should be good. There we go. Perfect, perfect. That looks about right. Oops. Keep the second ninja camp. <laughs> oh shoot. We're almost good to go. Just give me a quick second. Horizontal. There we go. Perfect. Alright. We are indeed ready to go. We can take a... Actually, hold on. Let me go back to the standing. Sorry. Let's take a look at Division 2B, shall we? Or 2A. Get my own division. Can't believe it. Before we get started. Where is it? It'd be this. Whoops. No, it shouldn't. This. Yes. A little bit scuffed, but it's fine. So Coster has uh, basically sealed his division win. 35 points. Perfect run. Why do I stutter so much? 
I'm currently in second with 24 points. Mel has already finished the season, 17 points. Leo, three matches played, 11 points. Can still actually make it to the playoffs with a combination of matches and results. Scooty, three and six. One, two match record, eight points. Sofa, looking to avoid relegation with seven points. Currently, Oscar is his person to be right now with eight points. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff on the line here. Scooty definitely looking to keep his uh, chances of playoffs alive here. And uh, let me know if we'll be having the same pieces or not. That was that thunder. Same piece sets? Alright, let me just set the seat up. E2924B. Somalian saying, doesn't. Don't I play in Gauntlet? Uh, yeah, but it's like in about an hour. Or like 40 minutes. It should be fine. Every game.